coming that Oxford entrepreneurs are proud to present to you this evening. Idea Idol 2010. Before we kick off, we'd like to introduce you to Colin Mayer, Dean of the Business School. Would you join me in welcoming him? Uh, Oxford Entrepreneurs is, as you may know, one of the largest entrepreneurial uh, societies in the world. And uh, it's a reflection of the fact that Oxford University and this business school are one of the most entrepreneurial universities and business schools uh, in the world. I'd just like to uh, uh, thank Jordan and Tim for the work that they've been doing, to uh, thank all of the sponsors of tonight's event. It really is important uh, that we get sponsorship for this type of event. So I'm extremely grateful to all of you for having uh, helped to back tonight's event. I'm extremely grateful to all of the, uh, the judges uh, of tonight's event. Thank you for giving up the time to be here with us. Uh, and everyone here is extremely grateful to you for having done that. So thank you. Thank you to all of the participants. We've got a number of business school uh, participants in tonight's event. Uh, and thank you to all of you for having come along. I hope you have a great evening. Enjoy. and not flushed in the water. CPBS, we think we have found the solution for this. We're developing bacteria that will act as a biological magnet, driving onto the pharmaceuticals and removing them away from the water. What's the IP in, in your product? How would you sell this product and uh, who would buy it? With an RFID-enabled credit card, you're able to pay at the till without inserting your card into the machine. Computer hackers have figured out how to remotely access and duplicate the information stored on RFID chips. Here's someone remotely copying an RFID credit card in someone else's wallet. And Differware has the solution. We make RFID blocking wallets and passport cases. Is there enough need? I mean, I, I, that's the real question. I haven't seen a lot of stories about this kind of, kind of crime. MRC has currently detected any, anywhere between several hours to several days and costs between one to 34 pounds per test, Oxford Nanosense will um, detect MRC in under 10 minutes at a cost of 20 pence per test. Well, how long will it take before it's being used? Charlie Ruggles specialises in tweed and country clothing, all of which is made in the UK. Charlie Ruggles is the life and soul of the party. Our clothing is, on average, 40% cheaper than our main competition, who, despite being branded as a British company, produces all of their clothing in the Far East. Ultimately, it comes down to three things. It's distribution, distribution, distribution. What is your approach then? MyFitCulture provides members with customized medical information. The most novel tools include MyFitTargets, which is an incentive program designed to improve and promote health outcomes, and the Premium Fit subscription which offers an initial health risk assessment, followed by continuous coaching. What is it that you're going to do to, you've got to get a few people really excited about you before you get a lot of people a little bit excited about you. Imagine you're watching a video of 24 on a PC and you like Jack Boss jacket. With Smart View, you can go click on his jacket and retrieve its make, its price, and even watch it online <laughs> because it's a single click. To enable such kind of interaction with videos, you need to be able to stack and track objects. It's not one of the most massive attempts to increase our carbon footprint and fight against any of the goals that we're trying to achieve socially and environmentally. I can say that a lot of people are working on that, so if that's the case, what's special about what you're doing? He is one of 7.6 million deaf and hearing impaired in the UK, the US, and in Canada. Utilizing such things as a microphone that's very sensitive and can be focused with uh, existing voice-to-text technology with a vibrating feature to alert the user in a compact, small, sleek design. I'd like to introduce you to Tada. Thank you very much, Todd and Nathan.
thank you all for coming back again, and uh, good luck to all the finalists. We've all come a long way together. You were all absolutely amazing this evening. I would be hard pressed to find a winner, so the judges have done a pretty impressive job considering we shaved the breakdown to about 15 minutes. The People's Award, your award, goes to Michael from DIY. What a fantastic evening. Um, it's one of the pleasures of being in commercial legal practice around Oxford that one's got a huge variety of intellectual activity and we've seen such a good demonstration of it this evening, haven't we? Um, my firm is uh, particularly keen on the environmental and the medical areas and uh, so it was perhaps with that in mind that I, I, something appealed to me very much which seemed to combine environmental cleanup with uh, overcoming some of the problems of too much medicines in the world. So we're very pleased to give our prize to CPB Solution. We actually, again, I hope it was clear, we, we, we love all the teams, and, uh, but we found a couple of them uh, more unusual or exceptional than others. And uh, as a result, not only because uh, we felt like there was a, a useful allocation of the items, but because of the panache, flair, and uh, enthusiasm, drive to win that it takes to be an entrepreneur, uh, we felt there were the two that truly stood out. And in particular, uh, taking retail head-on, uh, Charlie Ruggles, uh, we decided would really benefit from the, the bundle of marketing and SEO, etc and really thought that uh, it's an exciting opportunity. Now the big one, the one you've all been waiting for. And um, to say thank you for Credit Suisse for being the main sponsor of Idea Idol, we're going to ask Mr. Ian Carnegie Brown to announce the main winner. Well, thank you very much. Um, I mean, it was it was an extremely close fought contest, but uh, there was, for all the judges, one standout, and um, I won't keep you in suspense. That was Oxford Nano Science. Nervous, nervous as he was.